What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today marks episode 2 in the Captain Without a Country. So today's episode is all about the suit, the boot, the belts, the gloves, everything is here. I'm going to show you guys the whole suit in its raw form. We're going to try the suit on, show you guys how it moves, how it works, and what needs to be done to the finishing process of the Captain Nomad cosplay. Now, as I mentioned in episode one, this cosplay is going to have its big reveal at the Gold Coast Superhero Weekend at the end of April. As always, I will leave the details down below. So for those who aren't aware of the Gold Coast Superhero Weekend, it coincides with the Gold Coast Supernova Comic Con and Gaming Expo, in which I'll be attending on the Saturday. So from now, there is going to be a load of announcements and information about the Gold Coast Superhero Weekend weekend events in the coming weeks. So keep an eye out on the Facebook event and website. So like I said, today's episode is all about showing you guys the full suit in its raw form. If you guys can see just behind me, there are the boots. Uh, I've got the utility belt, I've got the shield belt, I've got the gloves, and just over there is the full suit. So let's get to the boots first. These are the former adventure motorcycle boots. I've already tried these on. These things are so damn comfortable. I actually want to wear them out and about for casual wear. The weathering on this is actually pretty damn good for a stock boot. As you can see there, it's got those lovely browns and everything, and a little bit of black here and there. So I will be trying to emulate the look of the boot spats going over the tactical boot. So the beauty part about these boots is they are designed to be walked in. If you guys have ever tried on motocross boots, traditional motocross boots, you'll find that walking is pretty much impossible because it's trying to protect your shins, your calves, your ankles, everything from either getting broken broken or burnt or just shredded in general. Now before I go any further, the rest of the suit has come from whitesheepleather.com. I will leave the details down below. This is the Captain America Civil War Cordura suit. This is the one I ordered. This is the one that looks the closest to Chris Evans's screen used fabric on his suit. So these are the gloves. Now they are very stock standard glove, but the quality is amazing. So as you guys know, this is just way too clean for my liking. So there is going to be a lot of weathering involved, but for a stock glove, they're absolutely beautiful and just perfect to be honest. Next up, we have the shield harness. Now I hope I've got this on the right way. Probably not knowing my luck, but there you go, there's the shield harness. Um, I do actually have to add some details because the clips on the Infinity War suit are a little bit more complex and have some more uh, elements added to them. So it's probably gonna be a simple matter of cutting out some pieces of acrylic or foam, just adding them on the top and bottom of the clips here. Now here is the utility belt. Now I can tell right away, I'm already gonna have to replace the buckle for something a bit more broader and a bit more high quality. Uh, these pouches actually come off with uh, snap fasteners right there, which is pretty damn cool. So again, this is gonna go through a large weathering stage, guys, so don't fret. There's gonna be a lot of shoe polish, a lot of driveway dirt involved, and that just Velcros at the back. So like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, I'm gonna be demonstrating putting a suit on, uh, the breakdown of the suit, because it is a very well-designed suit. So much so, it's actually designed the same way as Chris Evans' suit. All right, here's the one you've been waiting for, guys. Here is the Cordura suit itself from White Sheep Leather. It is absolutely stunning. It is a beautiful blank canvas for this cosplay. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay everything out on the ground because obviously I can't show you guys the whole thing in this frame. So I'm gonna lay everything out on the ground. I'm gonna show you guys how the suit works because uh, the chest piece actually lifts away. So I'll just give you guys a quick close up of the texture of this suit. So it's called Cordura and we've got some like bone pieces in there in the ab section. I have tried the suit on. I'm thinking that this may have to be taken in a bit because it's a little bit bulky around the midsection. And of course you guys know that Chris Evans is famous for having that beautiful V taper when he wears his cap suit. All right, I'm gonna lay this stuff out on the floor. We're gonna get some nice close up shots. Then we're gonna head out the back, try the suit on for you and call it a day. Okie dokie geek. Artichokies. Here we go, a better look at the suit all laid out and all the other components that are going to be accompanying it. So I've given you guys a breakdown of all the other pieces. Oh, that buckle. We've got to replace that. Um, and it's all high quality leather. It, it, it really is, for, you really get your bang for your buck. Um, so I got obviously got the package that comes with the shield harness, the belt, the gloves, and the full suit. And it's seriously worth it, trust me. Even if you're just doing a Civil War cap look, or if you're gonna go for Nomad, it's a beautiful blank canvas. So the way this suit works is 
Look at that. So this completely removes from the torso area. It's kind of like a vest, as you can see right there. It just separates from the arms. And it has this beautiful netted ventilation right here. So you can either choose to have these pieces separate, the top and the pants separate, or keep them as a jumpsuit. I chose to keep it as a jumpsuit because it just, they really did a good job with the measurements I gave them. And they're very thorough as well. Now I'm looking at the sleeves and I've tried it on and I've unzipped the sleeves and rolled them up and to be honest, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get rid of these panels and get rid of the zip because it's just too tight around the top of my forearms. It's very uncomfortable. So, you know, this thing isn't really designed to be the Nomad suit. Um, I guess if they ever did do a Nomad suit, they wouldn't have these panels on here. They just have, you know, the bare fabric and probably no zip or, you know, in this case, a higher zip. So the zip's probably gonna have to go and these panels are gonna have to go, which is no big deal because we're going for the Nomad look. Of course, you guys know the star has to be ripped off. And from what I've seen um, from screen grabs and trailer shots that there is a panel ripped out here and a panel ripped out down here, I think. And there's sort of like a mesh uh, layer under there that almost is like a throwback to the classic cap suit from the comics, like the scales. So probably do that with foam, like etch it into the foam and then you know rip out the certain areas and then place it under showing through the suit. And of course, like in terms of weathering, it's just gonna be a lot of, a mixture of probably airbrushing, um, you know, using dirts and, and, and inks and watered down shoe polish, everything, just to really gnarly this thing up. I'll show you guys the back. And it's in panels with snap fasteners, as you can see. And there's the zip at the back there for the torso area. So it really is a beautiful suit. It is very well engineered. Um, exactly like Chris Evans' suit, so which is really, really damn cool. And the Cordura is fantastic, and it's placed on top of um, a stretchy, I might say it's Lycra. So it's sort of separated, if you know what I mean, kind of like the Dark Knight suit, so there is flexibility there. So guys, with that being said, it is time to show you guys how this suit looks on me. Now, you gotta keep in mind, this is just the beginning. The end result is gonna be a lot more different, a lot more drastic than what you see before you. Um, so yeah, just to give you guys an idea of where we're starting at and how this suit works, how it moves. If you guys are thinking about cosplaying as Cap, I highly recommend picking up one of these suits from White Sheep Leather. So we're gonna head out the back, try the suit on, and then that's it. We're gonna call it a day, guys. Episode two, done and dusted. Now before I head out the back, I just wanna answer one question. Everyone's probably thinking, why is the beer gone? Well, it's about just over two months until the full reveal of this suit and the Gold Coast Superhero Weekend, so I just thought I'd have a shave. Well, not really a shave, I just did a buzz cut just to let my face breathe because having a beard after a while, it does get a bit, uh, it does get a bit tolling on the face. So the beard shall return, geeks. Let's head out the back.
Now Geeks, I also forgot to mention that this kit from White Sheep Leather also comes with the boot covers or boot spats. So of course, um, like I mentioned in the first video, I'm not actually going to be using these. I'm just going to be using the motorcycle boots as is, but customizing them to make as if we are wearing boot spats. So overall, as a blank canvas, this is an amazing super. We have a lot of work to do. So most notably, obviously the weathering, we've got to replace the buckle. I do have to do work to the uh, harness straps here on the shield harness itself. The zipper on the sleeves definitely have to go and also the panels at the bottom here because it's just way too tight and uncomfortable. And it's one of those things after eight hours, I reckon I'd lose feeling in my hands. So thanks very much for watching guys. Episode three will mark the beginning of the weathering process of the whole bodysuit. After that, episode four will be the leather work leading right up to me working on the 3D printed Wagonda shield and then the final reveal at the Gold Coast Superhero Weekend. Now next week, I'm gonna give you guys a preview of my upcoming Casey Jones cosplay as well. It was completely out of the blue, completely winged it. It's something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and just give my own spin on Casey Jones. Jones himself. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves a cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.